Miranda. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so what, how did you start making this um, jar? Well, I started with a pinch pot. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> as Scary. I worked, I kind of used this paddle to form it exactly how I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And then to make the lid, which I'm making right now, I started with the coil so I could get the the diameter of it correct. And then I made another little tiny shallow pinch pot so that it would be kind of domed. It. And now to make an inside uh, thing so that <laughs> it'll stay in place. Uh -huh. I don't know what it's, I can't remember what it's called. I uh, used like a, a coil and put it on the inside and now I'm pinching it up so that it'll go through the pot. Ooh. So what, like, you make a lot of these this forms. This one I made yesterday. You make a lot of these forms. What inspires you to make like these kind of forms? I like how organic they look, but I, I like that they look clean, sort of like they're wheel thrown. Mm -hmm. But I like the little, the pinches just, they kind of show that I've been there and that I was the one who made them. It's not a machine or anything. It's like, you know, leaving your mark on the piece. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's kind of why I like to use the, the pinching process. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Bella, <coughs> what are you doing? Um, making my plates. <laughs> so what did you do first? Um, so I hated that we were recycling or throwing away really all of these paper plates at the UC after everybody got their snack or whatever. Uh -huh. um, and so I was like, that would be a perfect form for making plates because I'm scared to make plates on the wheel. Mm -hmm. um, so then I started doing some slab work and I realized that if you just push it in there, um, it'll get the shape of the plate and then you can consistently like make a stack so it fits nice in the cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, so from here, I'll go through with a rib and some water usually. And I just kind of smooth the surface till I'm happy with what I want. Mm -hmm. um, and as it dries, I'll flip it over and trim all along um, and then smooth those edges and then pop it out when it's ready. And it'll be good for a stack. A plate. Love it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>